That's just not right. <laughs> Heading into this interview, what is the uh, most like important point to be driving home? Like, if people left with one thing, what uh, should they know? Yeah, good question. They can come see this at Mall of America. So, come to the Mall of America to see high school national championships of drone racing on Saturday and Sunday. And uh, if you want to get your kids involved, make sure you sign them up for drone summer camps at youthdronesports.org. So we caught up with Mr. Jacob Blazer. Focus on the road. Hi guys. We're uh, Never do that. driving over to Care 11 to catch up with Perk, Eric Perkins, to talk about the uh, high school slash collegiate nationals that are happening at the Mall of America. And now we're going over to catch up with both of them and talk about all that on camera for a bit to kind of promote the event. I, I am Eric Perkins. I am the sports director here at Care 11, uh, K-A-R-E. We are the NBC affiliate in Minneapolis and St. Paul. I am in the parking lot here today because there's this huge event going on at Mall of America uh, with the best high schoolers in the country racing drones. And so what we're doing for Care 11 is we're doing a preview story, you know, to air on the news to get people excited about the event and aware about the event that's happening at Mall of America. Because if it's at the MOA, it's a pretty doggone big deal um, and anytime you get Nurk in in the mix you, you got to involve him in the story and so that's why we brought him today um, because also because it's it's Nurk and I'm Perk and so I mean that's like the perfect symbiotic on-air relationship right there I don't think I actually brought the drone I think I put it in the box and then didn't bring it oh. so we might not have a micro drone flying Wow I just, <laughs> I that. That was well I've got a I've got a cine wheel like a squirt okay oh yeah, yeah yeah I can yeah. throw a GoPro no, on there we can actually have some footage yeah, for you guys to use Marty. too Nurk I tell ya well so we're doing the actual interview so he's we're gonna kind of go one at a time so um, Eric Perkins who's with Carol Evan is interviewing Marty and I'm next, but he said during their interview, at some point I should have kind of like buzz the tower and mess with them. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. And one of them is buzzing us right now. Actually. You know, it's I I love the sport of drone racing. I love the hobby, the bringing people together to fly drones. And so when I have any opportunity to come out somewhere and just help drive home, you know, people should be out there flying, people should be checking out what this is, I jump at the opportunity. So when they asked me to come out and just be a part of the event, to be a face there, I jumped at the opportunity. You gotta teach me how to fly one of these. Yeah, okay. Well, let me grab this, I'll be right back. What, I've, so do you see yourself right now? Yeah. Kind of over there? Yeah. Okay, so oh, wait, he's wait. wearing the goggles. Oh, no. Uh, which oh, yeah, show right there, yeah, exactly what the drone sees. So there's two okay. cameras on the drone. One's a GoPro and there's one that he sees in his eyes. I'm going to control the drone because we can't trust him to fly it around all of this expensive equipment. But uh, yeah, so let's take Bert for a ride. Oh, that's sick, man. So now we're coming back at all of us. Now we're getting dangerous. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. Oh, whoa, we're way up. I'm getting a little air sick, I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Whoa! <laughs> like, I'm, I'm actually losing my balance. Like, my equilibrium is shot here, right you now. Can, I, I, my shoulder's here, you can okay. lean on me if you okay. need to. Don't hit our camera. Okay, now I'll tighten it up. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, that's so awesome. that's what these that's guys so are going to be experiencing inside that's the so goggles. Dope. That's awesome. Uh, that's. Was that? <laughs> I was, but he left me hanging. Left hanging. I didn't see it, dude. <laughs> I tried to play it off. It didn't work. <laughs> you did. I called it out. I made it weird. That was uh, short, sweet, to the point. Had a great time uh, giving uh, Perk a ride in the goggles. I didn't think we were actually going to be flying here because, like. I don't know how much radio frequency is going on right there, but I kind of wish I had some of those antennas for like long range. Anyway, the segment went great. We got everything filmed. We're going to go process some stuff in real study, send it over to the team so that they can send it on to broadcast so that we can get more people to come to the Mall of America tomorrow. We knocked it out of the park. First try, let's go. So, yeah, look at this. I haven't missed a turn yet today. We didn't. 
we didn't make a wrong turn. I just made a bad boneheaded call. But seriously, it's June in Minnesota, not Phoenix. So we've just arrived at the Mall of America, like one of the biggest malls. Is it the biggest in the United States still? And then close to biggest in the world. And this is where the high school national drone competition is gonna be. And then we've also gotten access to a go-karting track and like a tactical Nerf slash VR paintball kind of thing. So we're gonna go check out each of those spots, hopefully fly around at a little bit of them. And yeah, let's do it. Last time we were here at the Mall of America, we were with uh, Rotor Riot. Drew Camden was here, and he got kind of busted for pulling out a DSLR and filming. I think we're going to be good to film in our specific designated spots, but we may have to do some kind of covert work here uh, in the meantime. So bear with us as we get our bearings. So that's Ready, Tech, Go, so we're going to go over there and check it out. I'm Marty Weatherall from Hydra FPV, the Youth Drone Sports Championships, and Ready Tech Go at the Mall of America. So we're here on the third floor of the Mall of America, and we have a dedicated drone raceway along with eSports stations. So we have 12 eSports stations, Velocidrone on all these machines and other simulators. So here is the main drone raceway at Ready, Tech, Go. Every gate on here that you see lit up is configurable, so we can turn them all on and off individually. We can change the colors on them. And this is now where we are gonna have our first national championships of our Youth Drone Sports Championships program. I'm going for my first lap on the most complicated tiny little course in the world. I can remember half of it, but then the other half I'm gonna need help on. So this is the launch. Bottom to the top, flip, come back forward with me. You get two straight. Yep. Come on. Through there. Come on. Yeah. 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 On you, Paul. Cool. Yep, through there. Yeah. Welcome to Cloud City! And then... Yeah. Up, up underneath, so it's gonna be bottom to top. <laughs> And then through there, through the tunnel, come around hard left. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first of all, my goggles were fogging, so when you're like pointing, I'm like, I can't see him at all because it's just like, like going on uh, Yeah. And then, uh, I mean, that's challenging. Like going through the, you know, you don't think of it as like a hard obstacle but to get the rhythm to go fast through the cube and stuff, like the person that figures out how to do that quick is the one that's gonna set the TQ for sure. Let me practice for like 15 minutes and see where we go. <laughs> so Winston, your brain is a little overloaded with all the roller coasters I know. Um, we are seeing the SpongeBob ride, the Orange Crush roller coaster, and many other rides in Universal, what is this? Nickelodeon Universe, that's it. Some of you maybe have seen this in the, one of the latest Jaybird, Jay Christensen FTV fly-throughs. He was out here not too long ago. That was really cool to be a part of that. And yeah, I mean, it is probably the biggest indoor amusement park in the country. Uh, I think it is. I think that's about all right now. I sort of have a migraine, so I'm not really thinking straight. And yeah, fun overload. We are headed to the fair on 4th. It's got go-karting, axe throwing, and about five o'clock we're taking the whole place over to do some city whoops while we're flying the go-kart. So we're gonna do a little bit of a pre-scout and then check out the whole place. Uh, so I just threw the axe and uh, I'm not sure if this is the right way to do it, but <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Three to win, three to win, right here. 
So how are these guys doing over here? Uh, they're moderately good. Neither of them has successfully hit a blue dot yet though, so I'm not entirely Me? impressed. Who's American Express is tougher? <laughs> or the Nerkster? <laughs> this is them getting their money's worth. Don't look at the number on this card. I'm gonna try and whip it into the target and probably fail. Oh, I totally missed. Nope, lower. I feel like maybe I have to come this way. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Talking about throwing money around. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Hold on. Make sure the numbers are on the front. Yeah, there you go. I really had to whip it. Oh my god, that is so freaking funny. That just made my hold on, hold on. entire day. Get down there. <laughs> Open your mouth. Uh, no, we got it. Squirts. It's time to go. Um, I don't know. We get. We are going to be taking over the go-kart track here in about eight minutes and sending out all of our guys to be driving, which means that we can fly and chase the go-karts. It's been done before, but it's a really, really good time. And we've actually even got this TV hooked up with the DJI FPV signal from me and Fluxy's goggles so that we can get all of the footage visible for everybody to check out as it's happening. It's gonna be really fun. I love chasing anything with the drone, so something as cool looking as this is gonna be a really good time. Yeah, so the goal right now is to not crash, keep it in the air, get a bunch of really cool footage, show these high school kids what drones can do. Have a good time, let's do it. I haven't gotten to go go-karting in so long. I'm terrible at it because I'm so big, but hey, we're working on that. It's gonna be a really good time. I just love driving. I'm, I'm a huge fan, so let's get out there and beat some high schoolers. Are you gonna stomp on this time? Oh yeah, I will, definitely. I was at a 35.3 and you were at a 35.8. So you said you beat my time? Just bring it. Just bring What do you weigh though? Get used like to it, Nerd. 140. Yeah, I'm so 265. Two we'd, we'd, we'd probably be right about you. <laughs> nice work. Awesome. That was pretty fun. Yeah, baby! <laughs> on a commercial break right now on Care 11, these two are about to be stars. Oh, yeah? Gosh, go karting -kart, go is so much fun. Look at that. My hand made it. I think it was you. Right, hang on. Not all everything's about Nurk, you know. <laughs> Look at that air views. Former, 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 former. So Nurk gives me crap because I always call him the former champion of DRL. And he's like, once a champion, always a champion. Well, <laughs> Care 11 agrees with me. <laughs> hey, we made the news. Yeah. Former world champion. Yeah. 